with an affidavit detailing why police arrested Brian Koberger has now been released. Now, a lot of interesting details. We're going to go straight to NBC News correspondent Dana Griffin, who has the very latest for us right now from Idaho. That's right, Dana. Hi, good to have you with us. So what have we learned about Koberger's arrest? Hi, Vicki and Savannah. So we have learned some very interesting details about why investigators have linked him to these murders. One, the biggest clue so far is a, a tan leather knife sheath that was found next to one of the victims. They found DNA on that knife sheath. And as a, and as they were investigating uh, a 2015 white Hyundai Elantra, they linked it to Kohlberger, and that's when they really started surveilling him. They found uh, some trash at his parents' house that and they took some DNA from that, and that's how they were able to get a match to link him based upon the fact that cell phone uh, records, the forensic uh, evidence there, uh, the, 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 the several, uh, uh, they're saying that there were 12 different times that his cell phone pinged near that mm. residence mm. before the murders, and they say that that's usually an indication that someone is staking out a crime scene before they actually commit those murders. Vicki Savannah? Dana, these clues coming out of the affidavit showing why he was arrested. We know that he is going to make, or has made, his first court appearance back there in Idaho. Walk us through what happens next. So we're told that reporters are just now walking out. There was there was a camera in there, so we should have some details momentarily, but we were not able to broadcast live. So we're waiting to get some of those details confirmed. But we know that the judge was expected to read his charges, read his rights. He did not enter a plea. That's something that will be set at a later date. Savannah. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.